Are we set? Can we start? <laughs> okay. So again, we welcome back from our, our wonderful lunch. It was amazing. Thanks to the, all the staff. Let's give the staff a great welcome and thank you. They did a great job and it's so easy. So now we have a pleasure to introduce the Chicago Immigrant Orchestra again. And please let us have some more. This uh, is going to be our last bhajan and uh, almost everybody knows this bhajan so you can join with us too. Achyutam Keshivam Krishna Tamodaram Ramana Ramayam Janaki Vallavam Thank you. 
uh, is a senior monk of the Ramakrishna Order and minister in charge of the Vedanta Society of Chicago in 2013. He's also the religious advisor to the University of Chicago and council member of the Parliament of World's Religions. Swamiji conducts weekly classes at the center and monthly classes at the Hindu Temple of Greater Chicago, the Hindu Temple of Lake County, Banda Baba, and the Hindu Hills Public Library. So first, she said, so then we start, start off with Tamir. I'm so sorry. Tatesh Master. Then Susan. 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 That's Tamir. Yep. Then Tamir. 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 And we have Greg Neerdar. Friends, I won't take much time because we are already late and we started late, so obviously going in that way. But I would love to invite over here the Neeroj. Avasiana Neeroj, are you here? Neeroj will come. So that young man, so he was mentioning, and when he was, uh, I think, nine or ten years old, he took part in a competition and uh, that was to recite from Swami Vivekananda. And there he was selected as first and got a lot of books from the Swamis. And he was very happy, he was remembering that. And then again today, after such a long period of time, in Chicago, when he found the Swamiji's picture, he was so happy and he was narrating that, his happy memory. Friends, I will chant one stotra, very simple, about the uh, spirituality that we are going to talk. And this is about the Brahman, the spirit, the sum total of all spirit, that is Brahman. Please repeat after me. Atma Shakshi Bibhu Purna Eka Mukta Chit Akriya Asanga Nispriha Shanto Brahmat Samsarabhaniva This self is 
as a weakness. This is Shakshi. Then all pervading, it is Bibhu. It's perfect, that is why Purna. It is one without any second, Eka. Then Mukta, it is free. And it is Nispriha. It is, it is consciousness, it is Chit. Then unattached, desireless and perfect. Through illusion, it appears as if it is of the world. So this is the confusion and this is the conclusion of the Vedanta that we are all that conscious Brahman though we are thinking that we are human being, the male, female, the American, Indian, these, these, this. All this diversity apparently but inside it is the consciousness. So Niroj, can you please come? So this is our owner of the Asian, right, Niroj? Hmm? The manager here. I'm married manager. And I like to congratulate him. Long back when he was young, he recited from Swamiji, and I am giving the gift now. <laughs> this way, my Thank you. Like to say anything? Thank you very much. Say it. All your blessings. <laughs> Thank you. I just need all your blessings. Okay. So I just shared that I was in school time that time in 2004. So at that time I've given scholarship exam. And so we got like five of them out of full class got a scholarship. And at that time we get a 2100 rupees scholarship and a, and a uh, books related to the Swamiji, um, a bunch of books, and a certification. Mm -hmm. I still have in my folder. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, the respected ladies, gentlemen, children, the today that we have assembled over here uh, in this Asiana to discuss about the different topics also enjoy the music, song, and of course, the food. You will wonder, the two, three days before I was reading a book, and it is about the Hindu history 3,000 years before Christ. And there, the writer, Akshay Kumar Majumdar, while describing the condition of the society at that time, 3,000 years before Christ, he was mentioning, the quoting from the ancient Vedas, the 19 different aspects of the Hindu society. And the first one he mentioned, religion prevailed in the society. Most of the people were pious and truthful. And in the last 19th, he mentioned the people used to assemble, to meet, to enjoy the discussion, music, song, dance, and food. 3,000 years before Christ, and we are now quoting 2,000 years after Christ. Now 5,000 years, the same tradition going on. Here we met and we listened to beautiful uh, that, uh, pre uh, presentation one about the economics, how it, it is now the condition, and another uh, so nicely, so clearly about the health, how it is going to affect our society. And this exactly every time they used to do, people will wonder, this is a spiritual meat, then why you are talking about the economy or about the health? It is about the human being. And in the human being in our society, they always say, it, as Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna in a very recently, he mentioned in Bengali, Khali Pete Dharmo Hayana. In empty stomach, you cannot practice religion. Like that they understood long back in India. So along with developing the spirituality, which is the finer condition of, finer stage of, moral values, high moral values, 
This spirituality, when they were practicing, they were also developing the economy. So, Abhudaya and Nistreyasha. Abhudaya means development of this material world and Nistreyasha, development of the spiritual world. This was balanced together. And that's why we find everywhere in our society and that there was a time, well, history proves, that the whole world was going to India. Why? Because they had everything. So once again, slowly, slowly, it is changing. It goes on changing. So now it is here. The best people, they will be coming over here and developing. So this is the way they used to enjoy. 3,000 years before Christ, they used to assemble, they used to sing, they used to dance. And the beautiful music I was listening, see so many varieties and from so many different places they have come. But at a time they were presenting wonderful music. The, this gentleman is from India, from Gujarat. And others, someone is from South America, someone from China, Taiwan, and someone from other countries. Like that, all of them, they're beautifully presenting the music. So this is the way our society grows. And what is spirituality? It's nothing but understanding and loving. And nothing else. Spirituality means nothing but understanding clearly that man looks different, speaks in a different language, he is wearing different clothings, he is eating, the taste is different, but he also having the love and concern and fear and each and everything that I have. Understanding that and immediately I will be concerned about that person. Hatred and all these things are always on the surface. The political people, economically also they go on com in competition, they're completely different. The moment we talk about spirituality, it's completely different. It's only love, it's only unselfishness. So you will wonder when everything was going down in pandemic, then a lot of questions started coming to us, what is God? How can you realize God? How can you get the peace? How can you go beyond the fear? The fear of death. As Dr. Rajani Patwari, she was mentioning, even the children were having the trouble because mental stress. And only way the people immediately understood to survive is religion. And I was going through this, 200 times it increased in query about religion. And you know, the long back, uh, in the time of Sri Krishna, when the Sri Krishna ended all this mission, the Mahabharata war was over, the Sri Krishna decided to go back to Gujarat again. Then the Kunti, the great mother of the Pandavas, she was praying to him. The Kunti was an auntie of the Krishna in relation. But the Kunti was telling him, thanking him for all the help that he has rendered. And then, it is very famous in the Mahabharata, the prayer of the Kunti, she told, O oh Lord, please give me some problem. Do not make me completely free from all problem. We always go to God to make us free. And here she is praying to the God, please put me into problem so that I will never forget you. So if there is no problem, people never come to God. So when we were children, we used to go to school for the examination. And not like America, we used to walk from our home to the school. And on the way, all those, the temples, small, small temples here and there, we used to go on putting some these four ana, five ana here and, and all equal, you know, the, if the four ana, to all gods four ana, because then no god should be angry with me. They are particularly the mathematics examination, oh my god, then every should, we attentively used to do that. The fear that takes us to the god, and Kunti was praying, it is in the Bhagavata, Bipada Santuta Shashwat, Tatra Tatra Jagat Guru, 
भवत दर्शनम यत्स्यात् अपूर्ण भव दर्शनम अपूर्ण भव दर्शनम द आई शुड नॉट फॉर गेट यू सो कीप मी इन ट्रबल सो इट इज बेटर टू हैव सम चैलेंजेस सो दैट वी शुड नॉट फॉर गेट द गॉड बट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस दिस अबाउट द गॉड वॉट इज दिस गॉड यू नो द continuously we think about these the god god and god and some people will be talking as we were showing over here shravani was showing that so many different religious people are coming and giving their talk uh, on different religion what is that only different names and what is god in, again in the bhagavata when after the war we find in the mahabharata also the judishthira wanted to meet the bhishma maha that great the devabrata bhishma why to know whether i have committed sin or not when the krishna was standing by his side and krishna was again and again telling that you have done your duty that's all there is no sometimes some people the thing we have we have married and we are in the household we won't get liberation not like that you have done your duty perfectly that is sufficient so that the uh, judishthira was going on thinking then ultimately it was decided if the bhishma says then it will be all right all of them went over there at that time when they met the lord bhishma there only that moment bhishma disclosed about krishna because it is very difficult to accept people contemporary people as god the god means it must be four hands ten hands must be sitting on a tiger must be flying on the air the god means that we all is thinking that way but we you must read that uh, what is god compassion look at krishna he is so compassion same sighted the krishna never deviated from his promises these are all the qualities of god so what is god keeping the promises if i have promised i must keep that so i have taken the vows and i have become a sanyasi no one forced me now if i don't keep those vows then i lose my sanyasa i may go on putting on the dress and people or no but i am losing the sanyasa the same way each and every one so this all is they say we have to understand friends today we reached over here and we always say the fall banquet but our devotees also know and others also that this is the time we appeal for the fund and you have responded so wonderfully though this time we have organized a very small uh, we you know the nearly 200 300 people we always assemble in our fall banquet this time the small group because we were not sure whether the people will be able to come and as the dr rajini patwari ji was telling every time things are changing we are not sure that we are free from that challenges of the covid but at the same time we should not forget that we are very special in the human form we are very special and we are spiritual people very special constantly in different places you are going and listening about the god there are many groups who are going on chanting and memorizing the whole 700 verses of the bhagavad gita they could pass their time in a different way and i know that dr joshi for last 10 years and he and his wife and his son of course they constantly anywhere any program they are going and attending and why they are out of their own love they are going very young that lady our puja she goes to the ganges driving two and a half an hour three hours 
taking some elderly ladies they will be working so hard over there if you go and see how they have made the floor it's just like the glass they have very elderly ladies they have worked over there why they love spirituality they love god not ishatmananda ishatmananda only few years i am here they love that organization why they love god and if this is not sattva guna then what is sattva guna i really appreciate some people they cannot listen to the spiritual talk the moment they will hear about god oh my god about god so they will leave you know this is tama and rajaguna this is not my this bhagavata is telling and the bhagavata very clearly mentioned and he is telling to the uddhava lord krishna you must develop sattva guna and what are the sattva guna loving god and the uddhava is asking the question how i will know that i have developed sattva guna when you will feel attracted to god when when you will love to listen to god know about him read about him discuss about him know for sure you are developing sattva guna and once you develop sattva guna you are very near to the spirituality friends we are very close to and we should not give it up and what is spirituality it is the abode of bliss what we will get after spirituality after god realization only bliss only joy for which we are going everywhere doing everything so this is and how to reach the source of bliss and bliss and eternity by purifying our body and mind how we can become purified by puri purity how we can achieve purity and sri krishna said in the bhagavad gita three type of work you must do yagya dana tapa karma yagya helping others without expecting anything that is called yagya dana this charity the hard earned money and you are giving it lovingly for the betterment of others whom you don't know when you are giving it to your neighbors when you are giving it to your own relatives your children it is not dana that type of help will bind you because affection love and all those but when you are giving the money without knowing anything how these people will be benefited with that money that is called charity that is called dana the yagya dana and tapa tapa means austerity and this austerity controlling the senses at this three thing we are constantly doing all of us i am seeing you i am staying and then spending my days last 10 years with all of you i am seeing how you are coming out and helping i am not going to name because she will be angry but she helped me a lot when there was a great problem she came and gave a check 50000 dollar shami ji this is mine and then she added another 5000 over that my husband kept it for me and i like to give it to you all these things are can i do that i am not earning even a single for thing so this is the way you people are helping me and by that way i am going to help different way not only food clothing and medicine but the spiritual knowledge also helping them to develop moral values also coming out of depression also different type of services i am trying to give we are trying to give because this is the spirituality thank you friends thank you for patiently listening to this and once again i thank all of you particularly jeb and his sister that she has also come she is very busy but she has come here and you are doctors you are engineers you are professionals but even then you have taken out the time to come and spend a long 3 hours sitting in the same chair that's so wonderful and i thank the music group it was introduced by one of our lady devotee 
and she told Swamiji they are really good. That they'll be able to mesmerize people and I thank her for that. And in our next programs, I should, we should be remembering them again and inviting them. Thank you very much. And let us say Shanti three times and we conclude. Om Shanti. Say with Shanti. Shanti. Hari Hiyo. You know, our rishis, they used to chant. Apparently, this is nothing, only Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. But the moment it goes and it brings truly the peace, the joy, the happiness, and we want that in our life. So, three times, the from the above, from the nature, no problem should come to us. From the people around us, beings around us, no problem should come to us. And from myself, my body and mind should not create problem for us. Thank you again. May God bless you. May Swamiji's spirit, Swami Vivekananda's spirit, enters into you. And may your human life be really, really fulfilled. Thank you very much once again.